Welcome to another video from Remedies for All. Today, we're going to be talking about a topic that might be a little bit uncomfortable to talk about, but it's a topic that needs some attention because a lot of people, even though they will be too embarrassed to admit it, are suffering from anal fissures. In this video, we're going to share some of the best home remedies for anal fissures. An anal fissure is an injury in the anus. This injury is either a cut or a tear in the canal that passes stool. This condition is very common among adults. And, it is one of the most common causes for rectal bleeding during infancy. Anal fissures can be caused if you pass hard and large stools, due to anal sex or probing things into the rectum. A common symptom for this problem is aggravating pain during a bowel movement. An urge to itch that area becomes very prevalent. You may even bleed during this period. Apply wheat germ oil at the affected area to help in the healing process. Apply aloe compresses on the anus as the healing properties helps in alleviating the pain. A warm bath can provide relief to those painful fissures. The best bet for avoiding anal fissures is to have a healthy and well-balanced diet. This diet contains fruits, vegetables, whole grain and drinking 8 to 10 glasses of water. Using lubrication is another method of treating the problem. To avoid any injury to your anal, apply petroleum jelly into your rectum. A key factor to avoid anal fissures is to keep the area dry. With every shower or bowel movement try to dab the area with baby powder. See to it that you are not affected by diarrhea because the watery stools are as harmful as hard stools. Watery stools soften the tissues around the rectum causing it to become sore. Like many things we should not do, the urge for scratching should also be avoided when suffering from this problem. Having razor sharp fingernails would just add to your woes as it may tear through the anal tissue. Lose the extra weight you've been carrying around, because when you are overweight, you tend to sweat between the buttocks too, making the healing process very slow. Apply creams which contain vitamin A and D consult your doctor before you buy any such cream. Sitting can be a painful task for all those suffering from this problem. To alleviate the pain while you are sitting, use a pillow. There are many different kinds of pillow in the market such as liquid filled pillow, donut shaped pillow and other kinds too. Avoid rough toilet paper as it may cause more problems. Be gentle while wiping the sores as it may open up the sores due to constant rubbing. Avoid scented and colored toilet paper. These may cause irritation. If possible, use facial tissues to wipe your bottom. You can clean the area very well by using chamomile and witch hazel infusion. Their properties of healing and helping the blood vessels shrink become very useful. You can also apply calendula balm to relieve any kind of itching and pain. St. John's wort oil, aloe vera gel or plantain infusion also helps in healing. Apply this three times a day or as per your needs. An enema in this state may be painful, but you can have a slippery elm enema to negate acidity and ward off causes of irritation. Try to drink nettle juice for an easy bowel movement as well as to be free from the soreness caused by the fissures. Drink 1 teaspoon 3 times a day. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got anything of value at all from this content, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing to our channel. That will really help our channel a lot. Thank you.